Hello. Thank you so much for joining me today. I don't even know where my camera is at this new setup. And this light is blinding me in the face, but I think you're right there. Hello. Thank you so much for joining me today. Happy 2024. Happy New Year. Let's make it a good one. And honestly, I'm starting off with what to me is a pretty exciting video. Okay, okay. I'm still get figuring out this whole new setup. Let me see. Here. Okay, there we go. How to play snooker. Sh snooker. I always want to say snooker. Now, I don't know anything about snooker. Nothing. Other than it has these gigantic pool tables. I mean, l look at that. It's like an Olympic-sized swimming pool for a billiards table. Apart from that, I know nothing. And honestly, I don't even know how popular snooker is. I have no idea. I don't know how to play. I've never seen it. I know it's played, I, I think, in the UK, mainly. Um, but I don't know if it's super popular. I mean, billiards, or pool, as it's normally called here in America, is pretty popular. Like, you'll find it at maybe... 40% of bars you go to here in America. But you're, you're not going to find schnooker sh anywhere. At least I haven't. Not yet. So I'm very excited to not only watch this, but, you know, in the coming weeks, watch some clips of some of the best schnooker sh shots. I don't know what you call them. Plays. I don't know. This was sent in, by the way, by The Quiet Brit. And actually, he says, Frames. We can recommend you a few frames to watch after this. And then the snooker fans will introduce me to Ronnie O'Sullivan. I don't know who that is. Must be the goat of snooker. Um, okay, I need to hear someone actually pronounce this because I feel like I'm saying it wrong. Snooker. Snooker. All right, let's watch. Oh, and shout out to... Um, the animate guy. Yeah, Mr. Mr. Animate for this video explaining how to play snooker. Snooker is a popular billiards game that is similar to pool. Okay, so it is a billiards game. I always thought billiards was just pool. Snooker is played on a rectangular snooker table with six pockets. Okay. One at each corner and it's two like in the middle. Object of the snooker. The object of snooker is to pocket the balls legally according to the rules and to score more points than the opponent. Points are scored by pocketing balls in the correct order using a numerical sequence. What you need to place- Do they have numbers on them? Snooker. A snooker table. A cue stick. A white cue ball. You need a big ass cue stick, I'm pretty sure. Much bigger than pool. 15 right? red balls. Six colored balls, including yellow, I green, think. brown, Blue, pink. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, I was kind of... I, I I wasn't giving this enough credit, you know what I mean? So far it looks similar to pool, but now all of a sudden we're adding in all these balls. What is going balls. on? Six colored balls, including yellow, green, brown, blue, pink, and black. Points oh or scoring. Points are scored in two ways. One, points for fouls by the opponent. Two, Points by legally potting. Okay, interesting. So when you scratch, I mean, in pool, you get that in the pocket. It's called the, the cue ball goes in the pocket to scratch, but you don't get a point. Reds or colored balls. Each legally potted red ball has one point, and each okay. legally potted color ball has a different point value. Yellow, two points. Green, three points. Brown, four. Blue, five. Okay. Pink, six points. And black, seven points. Game. It's kind of hard to keep track of. Game setup. Each of the colored balls. I mean, I'm sure once you play it like five times, you'd probably keep track. Of balls has a specific location on the table. Set the rack by placing all 15 red balls in a pyramid at one end of the table. Then place the pink ball directly in front of the point of the triangle. Place the black ball a few inches behind the red balls. Place the blue ball in the center. The yellow. This is kind of weird. Just a few inches behind the red balls, huh? There's got to be a standard for exactly where it needs to go. Brown and green balls are lined up horizontally on the breaking point at the end of the table. Okay. Who goes first? Coin flip. Players can decide by tossing a coin. 
I didn't the watch player who already. wins the toss has the choice of going first or can ask the opposing player. I mean, I guess that's pretty standard sports stuff right there. Coin flip. To initiate the tiebreaker Maybe has wise. the choice of going first or can ask the opposing player to initiate the tiebreaker. Let's start the game. The game of snooker begins. Oh, okay. In the case of a tiebreaker, you flip a coin to initiate. Who goes? Okay. When the first player places the white cue ball anywhere inside the D. Now players hit the cue ball with his or her cue stick towards the red balls so that the cue ball hits the red balls. <laughs> okay. Each turn until the red balls are off the table, you must hit a red ball first with the cue ball. Points are scored by potting the right balls. You have to hit the red ball first, but you can hit it into a colored ball and sink the colored ball or no. In the right order. If players pot the red ball, this red Hold balls on. in. I'm sorry, guys. I feel like an idiot right now. I need to pay attention closer and not talk and blab over it. Hit a red ball first with the cue ball. Points are scored by potting the right balls in the right order. If players pot the red ball, this red ball will stay in the pocket. Now the player will try to pot any of the color balls. Make sure to say which color ball you're trying to pot. If you successfully pot that color ball, then that color ball will be returned to their designated spot on the table. If the color ball doesn't fit on its spot, then the color ball goes on the highest valued spot available. What if no spots are available? If all of these positions are occupied, then place oh. the respotted ball. I thought no one had ever thought of that. <laughs> Just kidding. If all of these positions are occupied, then place the respotted ball as close as possible to its original position on a straight line between its spot and the nearest point on the top cushion. If you pot that color ball, then you score the value of the color ball plus one point for potting the red ball. For example, if you pot the blue ball with the red ball, you will earn- Man, I don't see how that, I don't see how he made this shot. The red Let me ball. watch this again. For example, if you pot um, the blue, whoa. blue ball with the red ball, you will okay. earn six points. One point for red ball and five points for a blue ball. If the player pots a legal ball, then that player will continue his or her turn until he or she fails to pot a ball. This is called a break. A break is the number of points scored by a player in a single visit to the table. After each turn, player's next shot must be at a red ball again. Continue the game in this way until all of the red balls go into a pocket. When all the red balls are gone, then you have to pocket all the color balls in this order. First, the yellow ball. Second, green ball. Third, brown. Fourth, blue. Fifth, pink. And last, the black. But are you getting the associated points when you're doing that for each ball? Or is this like a separate phase of the game where it's like all the red balls are gone and now you're you're onto this. It's, it's kind of like nine ball in pool where you're just sinking the balls in order. Fouls and penalties. In these following situations, you will lose your turn and your opponent will get a minimum of four points for the value of the ball, whichever is greater. For example, if you're playing a green ball, but you hit a black ball, then the opponent will earn seven points. Oh my gosh. If you commit foul, your opponent may choose to take the shot or turn the table back to you, playing a shot with both feet off the ground. What? What? Wait. This game was kind of strange. You know, familiar but strange already. But did he just say that you have to take both your feet off the ground? If your cue ball first hits a ball. Did he just say that? Am I imagining? With both feet off the ground. If your cue ball first hits a ball other than the ball you're trying to play, then you don't earn any score, but your opponent scores the value of the ball pocketed. If you touch any ball on the table, then the penalty is the value of the ball touched or four points. Oh damn, don't touch the black ball. If your cue ball does not hit anything on the table. If you pot the cue ball. If you pot the incorrect ball in the wrong sequence. Jump shots are illegal in snooker. 
if okay. any of the balls like, land off the table. Playing a push shot, a shot where the cue, cue ball, and the object ball are simultaneously in contact. Simultaneously in contact? Wow. I could see some fights being started over that. I mean, how do you determine if they're simultaneously in contact? That's like, you know, milliseconds are going on. M micrometers. I don't even know if a micrometer is a thing. If the cue ball leaves the bed of the table and jumps over a ball. What is snooker? I'm still trying to figure that out, kind of. Snooker is a term used to describe a certain scenario. Snooker is when there's no direct path between the cue ball and the ball you're trying to hit. In order to make this happen, you'll usually have to make a kick shot where the cue ball bounces off one or more. Okay, you'd call that a bank shot here in, in pool at least. I don't know. Do you guys play pool or just snooker? The rails before it actually hits the target ball. Free ball. If you commit a foul and your opponent is snookered on all balls, he is allowed to select any ball on the table as a free ball for this shot only. When the snooker game ends, the player with the most points at the end of the game wins. In few situations, the game will end if a player resigns because there are- What if you could hit, what if you could curve the ball? Aren't enough points. In few situations, the game will end if a player resigns because there aren't enough balls on the table to make up for oh, the opponent's score, sense. and if the player does not have enough options to make a good snooker to force the opponent into a foul. If the scores are equal after potting the black ball, the black ball is re-spotted, then toss a coin. The player who wins the toss oh, will choose who will take the first shot at the black, and the player places the white cue ball anywhere inside the D. The first foul, or pot, ends the game. I'm guessing it's called the D because it looks like a D. That's cool. If you like the video, hit the like button. And Whoa. That got a little bit confusing and I'm still, I almost feel like he was pranking me by saying you have to have both feet off the floor. How do you, like, what? What? Who's watching your feet? How do you do that? How do you, how do you hit a ball with two feet off the floor? Well, I mean, I now I have to watch some snooker. To see that, hopefully. <laughs> what the heck just happened? What just happened? Did you guys see that? <laughs> I feel like I'm going nuts today. Thank you for sending that in. <laughs> Happy 2024. Happy New Year. Thank you so much for subscribing. I'll see you guys tomorrow.